All right, so we are still here in Prague. This is our fourth day, I think, at night. And we're still working our way through the beer tasting. So we've got five for tonight. We've got two from the Bud Bar family, two from the Star Wars. Starro Praman. Starro Praman family, and the Pilsner Urkel, which is the world's first and oldest Pilsner, by the way, from Pilsner, Czechia. All right, so we're going to drink up. Okay, which one do you want to start with? Uh, I think we'll start with these two. Okay, let's get going. Okay. Right, first up, Starro Praman 10. We don't know what the 10 means. It must be something to do with the number of ingredients, number of hops, number of something or other. But we've seen several brands of beer here with numbers on them. This is just a 10. It looks like a Bud Light in the Bud. No, it does That color. Uh, it's actually pretty good. What's it taste like? Don't say beer. Strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> No, that's good. I like it. Okay, my turn. Let's see what I think. It has like a meaty taste, I'm going to say, at the end. It finishes like not as smooth as a Bud Light. <laughs> this is, that was my first sip of beer. I'm not even drunk, but I do think that too. Okay, second up tonight, Gold Can, Starro Promen 11. Because 10 is not enough, they have to do one with 11. I wonder if they're 9, like 1 through 9, we should be on the lookout for those. I haven't seen any. Typical lager color. Typical lager taste, I would say. Kind of tastes like a Star Wars Prom 10, if you ask me. Which one do you like better? Number 10. Honestly, they're the same. I mean, I can't tell the difference. I drink Natty Light. What do I know? Okay, so number 11. I like it a little bit better than number 10. I don't know why. It doesn't taste as meaty. Okay. I don't know. Next up is Budweiser, the uh, Bud Bar original Czech lager. The story goes that the American Budweiser literally tried to copy this. Name, color, taste, everything. At least that's the story. Don't know if it's true or not. Apparently they've been in litigation for a long time about a lot of issues. So we will find out real quick what does it taste like. Well, if the Budvar Light tastes like Bud Light, I'll be happy. This definitely does not, well, I would say it doesn't taste Kind of tastes like Budweiser, but well, it is Budweiser. <laughs> it's that's pretty decent. Budweiser by Bud Bar. I haven't had a real Budweiser in such a long time. I couldn't tell you if it tastes like a American Budweiser. It's okay. I could drink it. We'll have to see what the next Bud Bar. Uh, brings to the table to see which one I get and which one you get. Sounds good. All right for our fourth beer the other Bud Bar. I don't know how to pronounce the V name. Uh, I do notice that it is 4% alcohol versus the original has 5% alcohol. So I don't think it's necessarily a light beer but it's a lower alcohol content. That's what we're going with. You know, the color is the same as all of the other ones we've tried this evening. Surprisingly, yes. Tastes the same, I think. I think it just, I don't know. Maybe they just lowered the alcohol. I think so. Probably for the lightweights, for the 4%. Okay, that's probably right up your alley. Sure. <laughs> okay, Bud Bar V. actually like that better than the original so I'll go with this one I can't tell you why just I like it better well okay then for our final beer this evening we have the Pilsner Urkel 
I would say uh, certainly in Prague this is the most common beer you see it at more restaurants than any other I mean this stuff's everywhere it is the original Pilsner they are very proud of that I can also tell you that not being a beer connoisseur I'm guessing it's going to taste like everything else we've had tonight but let's see here same color we did have that though like a long 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 time ago back in 2009 yes. i believe but it's been so long we don't really remember what it tastes like tastes all right tastes like the other ones okay i guess i'll have to wait do, does it taste like meat that's for you to decide okay yeah. my turn for the pilsner urkel i think actually that's urkel not urkel i think we used to always call it urkel Anyway, I like it. It tastes pretty good. It does not taste like meat. It tastes like beer. It's a little bit bitter at the end. I know all beer is bitter, but it has like a sharp bitter at the very end, at least in my opinion, it does. What we probably need to do is Garrett and I probably need to go to like a beer tasting and have somebody explain to us like how all of the beer tastings and what notes you should be looking for. You know, if that costs money, we're probably too cheap to do that. And we'll probably just tell you stupid stuff about the beer we try. But you never know. It could happen. Last but not least, in the Prague beer tasting series, we have two cans of Kruševica. When Stephanie and I were here in 2019... Uh, the, the Actually, 2009. 2009, 2019, whatever. A decade makes no difference. Um, our favorite restaurant slash bar sold Kruševica. And we went there every night for a week. So <clears throat> we saved this for last because I know I like it the best. I don't want to prejudge it, but that's just the way it is. We're going to start with the number 12. We have not had this before. This is new. It, um, it's a slightly uh, higher alcohol content than the original. So we will see how it compares. It looks like all the other lagers. Big surprise. It tastes good. It's a little bit stronger than what we usually like, but uh, I like it. I like this one the best, but that's just the way it goes. So anyway, I like it. Stephanie will like it. Move along. Okay, my turn. Krusevicha Light, number 12. Does not taste like meat. Tastes like beer. Kind of sharp at the end. I'm not sure. And why is it a light? Because it has an L right there. It says Lazark. That might mean light. Might not. I don't know. I'll have to Google Translate that. I'll put the meaning on the screen, but I'm going to call it the light one. It doesn't mean light, but okay. Well, what does it mean, Smarty Pants? You'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Finally, I've had to drink all those other beers just to get to my favorite. Man, that was like a It is my favorite, and this is the one I'm drinking. When this is over, you can drink the 12. You don't know, that could be my favorite. I'm holding on to it. It noticeably looks the same, maybe a little bit redder. Do you think that's because it's in a red can? Could be, but it's good. <laughs> I like it. It's my favorite. Okay, I've had this before. Garrett actually bought a beer glass that says Crucivisha on it and has it at our house. I have two of them. Do you have two? Yeah. Damn, he takes over. He has all the stuff at our house. I, you know, we've been out of the country for a while. All of this beer, I should really love it more than American beer, but like a good old Bud Light or Natty Light right now would be amazing. I think I'll drink this one tonight. Though. You're not. <laughs> You're not. I hope you like this week's video. Come back each and every Thursday to see where our adventures take us next. Check out our blog at slowtravelchronicles.com. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all of the things. It really does help our channel out. We hope you have a great week and we'll see you next Thursday. Okay, Krusevich Light. It does not taste like meat. Um, it's kind of sharp, for lack of a better term. Um, Why do you call it light? 
Oh, I saw the L. 